Good morning everyone. It's Sheila with Little Shop of Journals. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. We're having wonderful sunny spring weather in Rhode Island for once, so I'm very happy about that. Um, today I want to share with you a journal that I created for a journal swap in uh, through Junk Journal Junkies. Um, the theme was Spring is in the Air. Um, and it's supposed to be a soft cover, 15 pages, um, flowers and butterflies included. Um, mine's rustic vintage, as you can tell, um, but I think it still fits the description. Um, this is a Burpees Farm annual garden farm and flowers and seeds, so I think that's appropriate, fits the description. But um, this is fabric covered, as you can see. I just made sort of a collage there that I sewed on. This is Tim Holtz. I'm 90% sure this is Tim Holtz material. can't remember. I've had it for a while, but I'm pretty confident the bigger print is. But um, I have a seam binders ribbon closure. This journal has been I don't know why I've made it so difficult. I've um, been working on this a while now and I actually came up with one cover and had a thought in my head for this whole theme. Spent a whole weekend on it and I hated it. So I started over and um, it's turned into what it has. <laughs> but I hope whoever receives this enjoys it. Um, but on the inside, the inside is fabric as well. I used um, Tim Holtz paper here that I just cut out for a pocket. I made a couple tags. This was my first attempt at um, decoupaging with um, napkin. I've sewed around all the edges. Um, this, I've used some Artie Mays um, uh, from her Butterfly Delight. Um, collection. I use some of that throughout. I've used some Zoe Tofield, Zoe Tofield. Um, some of her products in here are her um, digital kits. I just, it's not one single thing, it's just a conglomeration of, of several. So, with that being said, um, got a little, a little butterfly dangle journal card I've done everything's been coffee dyed and stitched this comes from Zo um, Zoe's collection it was the I used um, this is the vintage butterfly and I, I think it's absolutely stunning um, made a journal card little postcard. Everything's been coffee stained, if I didn't already say that. This is from um, uh, Zoe's um, Vintage Blue Botanical Collection. So like I said, I've just, I've used a hod, this is sort of a hodgepodge of several different things. <laughs> um, little paper clip. This is from the same collection. I made a journal. Well, it's a postcard, as you can see. This is my attempt. Um, Tracy Fox showed how to make these little um, envelopes, and this is my attempt, <laughs> which I think is they're quite cute. And I'm sure everyone knows who Tracy Fox is. If you don't, visit her channel. You will be amazed. Coffee stained paper. This is some lined paper. This also came in one of the kits I got from um, Razor Crafts. Um, it's a lined background. Have a little butterfly. Just another little tag in there. This does have a little pocket here. I didn't put anything in it. 
um, the tag that I made from Tim Holtz Papers. And this tag inside is from Artie Mays Butterfly Delight. That's just a little journal card I had. This is from um, Razor's Crafters. Um, I think that's, yeah, the Vintage Butterfly Collection. But isn't that beautiful? I purchased them and I was printing out some just because I wanted to see. So that's why everything's sort of, it's not all matchy-matchy. So I hope whoever receives this is fine with that. For me, I don't, I mean, I, I love them when they're all matchy-matchy. But when I go to create, it just sort of happens that things don't all, <laughs> aren't in the same color scheme, if you will. Um, little pocket tag. A little bit of stamping. Another tag. I did some stencil. Stenciling. I apologize if um, I seem all over the place. I have been super busy with um, my job, <laughs> my normal job, trying to do this and several other things going on, so I feel sort of brushed in getting this taken care of. So I apologize for rambling. Music paper. This is a napkin, another attempt at decoupaging. I, I, this was my original idea for the cover, and it just wouldn't fit on the cover. So I decided that I was going to put it on a piece of paper and try to fit it in the journal anyway. I thought actually it'd be sort of cute to uh, journal around that. This is just some seam binders ribbon that I um, tea dyed and used some spray stains on. This is actually from Razor's Crafters, and this is from Artie Mays. And I thought it was, I thought they went together very nice. I think the, the both beautiful kits. And in my in my plan of many things that I have going on, sorry about that, um, I do want to make nice kits with what I purchased from both of these ladies. I think they're both so talented and um, it, it, just the papers are just beautiful. So I do want to make something with both of those. Um, this is another tag that I made. Tag in here. A little side pocket out of material. I just um, used some muslin and as you can tell just stamped on that. This again, this is ledger paper and I backed it with material. Made a pocket on the front. I stuck a journaling card in there. That is already maze. This is from the already maze kit that I purchased. It has a little journaling card in it. If you look at these papers, they're just stunning. And this is from Zoe Tofil. Zoe Tofil. Um, I had printed out a full page and then um, I didn't use it for whatever reason or something happened so I just cut it down and I thought it has a um, fine background so it's added um, journaling space and it the print is just so beautiful I could not bear to not use it. This little pocket this was inspired by um, Patricia Viramontes and I hope that I pronounced her name correctly. This again is the same kit um, from Razor's Crafters and I made a little mini journal to go in the center. A little pocket here, this little journaling spot. my clip. This is from Artie Mays. A little 
little journaling spot in there. These papers are just, <laughs> they're beautiful. Truly beautiful. This is the back side of that. I have all kinds of, um, when I was doing some distressing, my little distressor tool, um, the little round, you know what I'm talking about. It, was, it started to fall apart. I hate to change those though because um, it seems like you get them right where you like them and they're easy to work with and then it's time to change it because it's worn out. This is my first attempt at a dangle so uh, don't be too critical with me. <laughs> a bead dangle. Another journaling card. Some more um, stenciling. Ledger paper. This again was inspired by Tracy Fox, one of her little hangy tags. A butterfly pendant. This is a um, used that butterfly napkin on a um, a playing card and did a, stitched around it, stamped a butterfly there. Music paper. Just some decoupage. This is from, yeah, from Artie Mays. side of that paper. Just stunning. Once again, this is Artie Mays and this is um, Zoe's um, Razors Crafters um, Vintage Butterfly Collection. Tried to get as many butterflies in here as I could because when I started creating, I didn't have any. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm supposed to have butterflies in this as well as flowers, so... Another journaling card, or tag rather, little corner pocket. It does have a little flower. This is a actually a double pocket tag that I made. It has this little pocket and then a, a bigger. And this here is. Um, was inspired by Tracy Fox. I love her videos and I think she's so creative and every time I see one I have to make an attempt. And on this I hope you don't notice but I think I got this backwards but nonetheless <laughs> it opens up and it has a little it has a few added um, pages for journaling. paper from Razor Crafters. And I will put um, the Artie Mays information, Zoe's information um, on the link. Um, and I'm sure most of you have probably already visited their um, Etsy stores and seen their videos. If not, um, I would highly recommend it. I, I love <laughs> their kits. And um, the journals that Zoe, Zoe makes are just stunning. That's another tag from Artie Mays. Postcard. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a rose um, imprint there. A little feather. This is another decoupage attempt. Um, that was from Tim Holtz papers that I made that from. And 
back side is just plain. And there you have it. That is my journal that I made for the journal swap. Um, I do want to take a minute to thank everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Um, I just realized right before I started this one that I just hit a hundred subscribers. And I know to many people out there that's peanuts, but that's like a major milestone for me. And I just really honestly want you to know how much I appreciate the people that have subscribed to my channel. Um, and I do have something that I'm planning as a giveaway. Um, I've been trying to determine what number I wanted to do that, plus I wanted to give myself an ample time to create what I have in my mind as the giveaway. Um, so I'm thinking maybe 150 subscribers, it might be 200. I have a couple projects that I've been asked to do for people and I know that's going to take me some time because I do work full time and um, so that takes up most of my time and I do this in spare time so I got to get those journals taken care of but then I'm going to start creating um, a two. I'm going to do two journals um, as a giveaway for um, a random drawing um, for the first and second um, two people. Um, but I want you to know, and I'm sorry, I'm um, 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 I'm just very overwhelmed and very stressed out right now. So I apologize. Um, but I do um, just want to go back and say thank you so very much for subscribing. Um, I have a lot of projects that um, I've already created. I'm hoping to be able to post a couple of those um, on YouTube, uh, probably, I would say, maybe Sunday, um, but that's my goal. Within the next week, anyway, I could at probably get it accomplished on Sunday, um, but just in case I don't. Thanks again. I keep saying, um, 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 um. I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend, and I hope that you're having beautiful spring weather wherever you are, and, um, Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this. Have a great one. Bye-bye.